Hello, welcome to a main Meister 10 minute mashup. Hang on, I'm going to move this a wee bit. Is that better? Yep. Um, just doing something a wee bit differently today, guys. Uh, rather than looking at a, a bad game, I'm looking at uh, something that I got recently on, on eBay. Um, it's the Sega Ages. I wish it wouldn't be bloody going to a demo like, that, like it's doing. Uh, Sega Ages for the Sega Saturn. Um, I've heard that uh, it's actually it does the best sort of versions of uh, Outrun is it Afterburner I think, was it Power Drift? I'm not too sure, and Space Harrier anyway, it's annoyingly going into a demo mode so it's letting you see what's happening so let's uh, have a quick shot of each one of these right, Sega Ages let's go for Space Harrier since that's the first one on the list see if we can get the sound up Yeah, I mean, there's there's obviously various uh, conversions of this on different consoles and computers. Um, some are obviously more successful than others. But it says this is supposedly the definitive uh, version for the home computers. Now, right off the bat, wait a minute, I'm going to pause this. Can I go into controls? No, I can't seem to. Right, annoyingly. I don't know, so I'm talking absolutely garbage. I was going to say uh, the controls were reverse, but it's not. In fact, you know what? I'm actually. <laughs> it's press up for up, down for down. I'm actually normally used to the back to go up and forward to go down. See that message? Ready, more battles coming soon. Did the arcade version do that? I'm guessing the must off because it does it in MAME. Get ready. Ah, there, I don't remember it. It's a bit annoying having that thing. I kind of get used to the controls. I'm going to have to go and change it. Wait a minute, I'm going to turn the sound up because the sound in these games is really nice. Right, how do I change? How do I come out? Um, is that taking me back to the main menu? Start button. Options. Here we go, right, what do I want to do? Uh, ah, it doesn't appear to let me change. Oh well. Tough titties, let's go. I just need to try and get used to it. Which is going to be difficult. I know most games up equals up, down equals down is the, the way to play, but this game is one of the few games where you normally do play, you've got the controls of an aeroplane. <laughs> I'm struggling to get used to them. Certainly nice, certainly quick. Um, to be fair, very most, most of the versions of this game even uh, even the 8-bit machines were actually very, very good. Yeah, I could imagine this, uh, this being pretty faithful to the actual arcade version. I just can't get, get used to the control for Toffee. Uh, I've got about three, uh, three and a half minutes per game, so I'll try and defeat this thing. But yeah, it's really nice. This game is quite easy to pick up for the Sega Saturn. Now, I've got to say, this is actually on a real Sega Saturn. I've not got an emulator for this. To be fair, I've got most most of the machines actually like you see on my mashups. Excuse me, apart from some of the more, more obscure ones, um, I've actually got the the real hardware, it's just a pain in the arse actually digging it out and to be fair the, uh, the little PC thing that I use for emulation does a really good job and it's just so much simpler I'm absolutely shite at this and hey, listen guys, this is a uh, Ew, what's that on there? I think it's probably some dodgy scarred <laughs> Right, let's uh, come out how do we quit? How do we quit? Try and manoeuvre myself around without knocking the camera over. 
And we go, it's just a dodgy scout cable. Uh, oh, that just goes right. How do we how do we come out? How do you exit? Okay, okay, okay. Start button, exit. Right, here we go. So what else have we got? It's out running, I think it's is it power drift? No, after burner. I don't know why I thought it was uh why did I think it was power drift? Right, out run. This is one of my favourite games. Pretty pish at it, it must it has to be said. Um, this plays really well under MAME. Um, but again, this is seems to be the version that people sort of say is the best home version. Get ready. So let's let's crack on. Well, nice use of uh, the shoulder buttons. Yeah, it's nice and responsive, nice and quick. Graphics look pretty arcade perfect to me. <laughs> the problem being is it's been a long, long time since I actually saw a saw the arcade version of this actually running. That was silly. There's this bastard at the corner where it's like left, right, left, right. Go on, get up! You twat. Never actually completed this game. I've got to about. I don't know. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. I'm going to struggle to get to the end of the first level here. Get to the checkpoint. Unless I put heel for leather and hope for the best. Five, four, three, way! Yeah, this is a very, 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 very nice, nice version. I'd be struggling to tell the difference. I mean, I don't know whether is this running under emulation. I'm not too sure. Silky smooth. And again, you can pick this game up for not very much money on eBay. So if Outrun and Space Harrier are your fear, then pick it up. Hey, listen, I have got two minutes, so we're going to go and look at the last one. Can I quit? No, I can't. Right, I'm just going to have to run out of time. Yeah, that moves. Look at the actual sprite scaling. That moves really nice. Really impressed with that. Just missed the big, uh, big steering wheel, obviously. <laughs> Game over. One interesting game which I did mention, um, thinking it was on this, is Power Drift. There's very, very few home versions of that. Well, I know it came out neat, but you know what? Well, what I meant to say was any good versions of it. Hey, come on. Start button. Exit. Right, the last game. Uh, yeah, there's very few good versions of Power Drift. I think it came out on the PC Engine. Um, I don't recall. Power Drift appearing on any of the uh, these kind of compilation for the 32 bit machines. Maybe it did, I don't know. I'd actually be quite interested to actually look out. I know a lot of these compilations tended just to come out in Japan, uh, certainly for the sort of PlayStation 2, there was a lot of them came out. I think they're like called Sega Ages, funny enough. Um, but they never, they never got a release in Europe, sadly. I've never played this game in the arcade. I think I maybe played the first one a couple of times. Yeah, pretty sweet looking. Very nice. Pretty impressive graphics. As I said, I'm guessing this is arcade perfect. It certainly looks like it. 
Yeah, it's absolutely mental to think when you're playing this in the arcades back in the day, you know, looking at the, the polygons and the graphics that's thrown about here. If somebody told you that, you know, several several years later, you're going to be playing an arcade perfect, <laughs> an arcade perfect version in your house, you would think they were stupid. But here you are, you know, brilliant. I always, you can see here, I'm not very good at it. I always tend to think that a lot of these, especially this game in particular, it's just, it's, it's a graphical showpiece. It's not really meant for any long term um, home appeal. It's really just fancy graphics to drag you in. Um, game over. Hey, now listen guys, that's 10 minutes. Uh, it's been a very, very, very brief um, look at Sega Ages by Sega on the Sega Saturn. Okay guys, thanks for watching.